Hello everyone, I'm Stephan Adams, or Mr. Adams. Uh, I am the wellness counselor here at Finley High School. I am just an extension of the amazing four counselors that we already have in the building. Uh, and I am still learning and enjoying learning a lot from them coming from the middle school. Today I'm going to talk to you guys overall about grades. So let's go ahead and jump into it. That's my name. Once again, you know me. If you don't know me, there's my name. But Mr. Adams, see you guys. Oh, I messed up because I just, I felt over with getting to this. <laughs> I felt over with getting me to like the next page and it's not just at all. Okay. Hold on. What do that I do now? That was such a good thing. That was, I was wrong, right? Yeah. All right, all right. Just, That's okay. It, I think you can start where you stopped. So like, it's just wrong. Can I just start again or like? Yeah, just. And you can well, okay, cut it out? No, because we want to okay. do that first part. Okay, so, so does it say like you can start? No, no, no. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Stephan Adams. Uh, Mr. Adams to you guys. I am the wellness counselor here at Finley High School, and I am just an extension of the other four great counselors that are already in the building. Um, my overall topic today will be grades, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, let's talk about the grading scale. So obviously, if we look across, you can see up here, college prep, honors, and advanced placement. These are the grades that are required uh, for you to earn uh, the specific letter. So obviously, just looking at the top line, and then you guys can kind of decipher from there. Uh, in college prep, a 92 gets you an A. In honors, a 90 gets you an A. And in any of the advanced placement classes, an 86 will get you an A. And like I said, you can take a look right here at the other screen. Obviously, hopefully nobody is down here in the D column. They will all want to be above, okay, above. So keep working hard on that. Let's go over the GPA formula. So figure the GPA on a four-point scale and all credits earned. Okay, so credits are granted at semester. And if you look at the bottom here, divide your total points earned by total credits attempted to determine students' GPA. So let's look at a half credit or a semester. Uh, an A will equal two points, a B, 1.5, a C, 1, a D, 0.5, and obviously an F would be a zero. Semester grade, okay? So as you look here, so quarter one, we're 37.5, quarter two, 37.5, and also the exam will be 25%. So as far as your final grade, you must pass two out of these three in order to have a passing grade or pass for the year. So the cumulative GPA will be updated two times each school year, at the end of the first semester and at the end of the second semester. Honor roll, okay, so let's talk about distinguished honor roll, okay, 3.75 and above with no grade below a C, no withdrawals or fails or incompletes. Uh, if you're a merit, if you're involved in the merit honor roll, then you'll earn a 3.25 to a 3.74 with no grades below a C, no withdrawals or fails or incompletes. And then AB honor roll will be any combination of all A's or B's, once again, no withdrawals or fails or incompletes. Thank you. Appreciate your time and see you all around.